There we go. Hello, welcome. David Kinder here. Today I wanted to give a review of a CRM program I just essentially discovered, what, yesterday? Um, I've heard about it before in the past. I never used it before. I've used others. I've used ACT. I've used proprietary CRM databases from other companies. I've used the one card system. You can find a video series on that. That's a, a card based system. I've used, um, well, there's a few others out there. I used iPipeline before. This one is the most intuitive, easiest to use that I've ever experienced in my life. And I've been around these programs I'm going to say since 2005. I love this. And if you can look at my screen right now, you can see I'm on the trial, right? But I'm going to start with the price of it. It's $15 a month to subscribe. Um, I'm going to go through all this, but I'm going to put a link in the video description below where if you use my link to sign up for your own trial, you get two months free. Um, and of course, if you sign up, then I get a month of extra free service. So that's kind of what's in it for me. But at the same time, if you've ever felt frustrated with CRMs in the past, this is a breath of fresh air. This is so amazing. I'm going to give you a tour of what I've discovered out of this program. And first of all, let's talk about the cost. $15 a month to not necessarily automate. There's not necessarily a lot of automations in here, but it's definitely a great way to organize your work to digitize everything. Once I started using this, I almost see no reason to use my paper planner, to use paper files, unless you have an open case currently, but you could always scan and upload, you know, do those things, however you manage your open cases. I just uploaded a couple of things into this and I'm just noticing how nice this is to work with. So first of all, when you open it up, you're gonna see this screen. And you have today's agenda, which is your calendar, and you've got your tasks that are due, uh, which is whatever you set up for the day. Now you can view a task report and view calendar so you can see more. So if I click view calendar, here's the whole week. Okay, I got whatever's on there. If I go back to workspace, tasks that are due, I can view all my other tasks. What do I got to get done? Going back to the workspace. Pipeline reports, going back here. Hit lists, I'm using Coach Michael Burt's terminology on this. Hit list is making initial contact. And I'm gonna organize, how am I going to work a list when I make an outbound call? You know, either the call's gonna go through and I leave a voicemail. The call doesn't go through, the number's disconnected, I completely drop them. Uh, I, I call through and they pick up and then they say, no, hell no, get me on your do not call list, whatever. All those are possibilities. I'm gonna track that through how I work on a list. The farm clubs, these are current cases. In the breakaway league, we call them conversion points. And I've got them all broken down. How many people do I have in each? Now, don't judge me here. They're, I mean, I'm just getting started. You can see, 29 days left of my free trial. I have not yet uploaded any farm clubs. Do I have any open cases? What's the status? How many do I have in each step? Client onboardings, that's something I need to develop. When someone finally buys, now what do I do? And I think what I want to do is I want to call it a client advocate stage. How do I turn that client into an advocate who will know exactly how to promote me and who to promote me to? Uh, client reviews. You know, who am I, do I need to see each and every year and when and what do we need to talk about? What needs to get done? What do I want to get talked about? It's all right there. That's beautiful. Now, activity report is everything that you've done in there and it's showing all your stuff, all the things that you've done in the program. But this thing is so intuitive. These pipelines, um, it's very easy to set up. I'm gonna go straight here to settings to pipelines and there's very different ones. You can set up your own uh, logo for them. You set up the names for them. You put in your own stages and then you can easily just rearrange the order. You know, what do you want to show up where? And obviously I want to have a logical flow of brand new, never heard of me, I've never heard of them, to now they're uh, a client and we need to keep going with their annual service. Okay, so that's the workspace. It was so easy to work with, it was amazing. Now, setting up a new contact. Now, within this, I customized a, f a few fields, uh, but you just type it out. Very simple, name, spouse's name. By the way, I put the spouse in there so you can link other uh, clients together because you know just because you have one spouse you need another spouse get get them linked together so it's easy to go back and forth what's their email phone address website social security number obviously when they become a client 
what's their birth date, gender, lead source, where do they come from? And you can put in whatever it is. Uh, lead source notes. The client type, I don't know what that means yet. That came from, a, uh, from the uh, template. Financial goals. I put an RIA account name and number. What do they have with me or whatever? The custodian, what's their risk tolerance, tolerance notes, total assets, various retirement accounts. Uh, on the other side, retired. And this is what I put in. Are they retired? Yes, they're retired now or no, but within the next one to five years. No, within the next six to ten years. No, we're ten more, more years away. Uh, what type of investments? Employer retirement funds. All this stuff is right here. This is pretty good and again this is kind of the facts um, I work a lot with annuities and life insurance so I want to make sure that when they become a client I want the name of the annuity company what's the contract and the contract number is it qualified or non-qualified um, and if I'm using multiples I want to have that information easily found here so I know exactly where to go to get up-to-date information I do not expect to get ever um, data downloads from the companies into here if you want that this isn't in your program uh, but at least having an, uh, an index card, so to speak, of all the information, that's brilliant. And I'm glad to have that. Have the same thing for life insurance, up to five contracts. You know, what's the company name, contract number, type? You know, is it a term policy? Is it a whole life? Is it a 10 pay? Is it a 65 pay? Whatever it is. Um, and I also want to know the contract anniversaries. So I know that I can time my annual reviews to make sure they coincide with contract anniversaries for uh, conversions and things like that. You can attach notes, tasks. Uh, assign them to a group, assign them to a process, whatever it's going to be. So I'm going to hit cancel because I'm not creating anything right now. Um, it was so intuitive. I have not done anything with new company yet, um, just not yet. Uh, I can view all the contacts and companies and I imported everything from my um, uh, Google contacts. I have a bunch of contacts in Google so I went straight there. Um, what else? So I have groups. Now groups is a different thing. So let's go here to manage groups. So I get the whole list. I created a group called internal do not call. And the reason is because this way, if I'm always making my calls out from the CRM, if, the, if I've assigned a contact or a phone number to the internal do not call, do you think I'll be calling them again? No, that's my way. And by the way, everybody, if you don't have an internal do not call list, you should have an internal do not call. If somebody says, never call me again, I'm not interested, no problem, I'll update my records immediately, thank you for your time. And you update them to include them in that group and you'll never call them again, they're forever dropped. But you maintain that list. Um, by the way, a good question would be, is there any limits to how many records you could have? And so far I can tell is no, there's no limit. Um, I also checked for the storage limits because you can upload files to each contact. The limit, is 10 gigabytes that's a lot of files I'm like there's enough to work with by the way you can uh, um, add in more users for your account each user is also $15 a month and each additional user adds another 10 gigabytes of storage data considering that it's very rare that a that a, a regular document whether a word or Excel well maybe Excel but that a word document rarely exceeds one megabyte You've got so much space. Um, anyway, I have um, in here for my groups, which, who are my product sales? You know, someone that just buys a term policy. I try not to have those kinds of clients, but if I do, they're gonna go here. Projects management, I'll talk about how I manage my projects in a moment. Uh, cases, all my current cases. And if I'm working with a mentor within the Breakaway League, I've got my mentors listed here. And as uh, Coach Burt talks about, who are my top 25 big advocates? And so that's something to keep top of mind is how to build up those relationships. Just the fact I have these groups shows I want to pay attention to that to help me cultivate those relationships. Teams, I want to talk about real quick. That's if you're adding someone to use your system. Doesn't apply to me right now. Company branding only applies to this check mark up here. I can upload my own logo. It doesn't matter. Um, at this point, don't want to export my data. No, I'm going to keep my data in there, but it's easy to export stuff export pipelines, export tasks, all this stuff in a different files. Um, not a problem. And of course, do you want to close the account? Right now I'm in love with this thing, so no, I am not gonna close the account. Um, looking at contacts, again, I can look at all of them at once. It's easy to search. Um, you can 
I would say sort them, add a filter, whatever it's going to be. Calendar, it's a very good basic calendar. It does sync for me with my Outlook Office 365 calendar. I have a paid um, a, a service with that. And it syncs about every five minutes roughly. So you make a change in here, it'll go back into Outlook later. You make a change in Outlook, it'll be uh, synced into here. Um, very easy to use, very intuitive. What I also like is that I will get a notification each morning of my agenda. It'll be either emailed and or sent to my uh, messenger, uh, messaging on my phone. Reports, how, how many do I have in each pipeline? What's my status? Essentially, this is allow me to take the temperature of my business, whatever that looks like. Um, this is so intuitive and I was able to make all the changes I wanted have this be as simple as possible. By the way, let's look at um, I look at valued client. I have no um, identifying information that you can see. Although I obviously changed the name, I updated stuff. Some people want to want a dialer in their CRM. Well, through Google Voice, I have up here, and you probably can't see it. I have an extension for Google Voice in Google, and in Google, I'm going to show you my settings real quick. Oh, well, that's actually my Google Voice itself. Let me close out of there. I'm going to go here to right click and go to options. And if I have Google Voice extension options, add clickable icons to numbers you can call using voice. So I'm going to close that out now. You're going to see there's a phone number there. I can dial it by calling through Google Voice. So Google Voice with Chrome and I think Microsoft Edge because it's essentially built on Chrome. Um, if you have that extension, you can turn your browser into your dialer and you can still make calls just by clicking on the thing. So that makes that a dialer. That's fantastic. All my files are here. Who did I work with on the case? Who, and obviously what type of a case was it? I've got all the other information here to the side. Um, anyway, and also I've got a thing for uh, my, the next client review scheduled essentially for December. Um, I added it just yesterday because I'm using the trial here. Um, anyway, what can I tell you about this except that it's very rare for me to find a CRM that helps adapt its way of working to the way I think. And this is fantastic at any price, let alone $15 a month. Now, for me, um, and being able to adjust everything, I think I had three pipeline reports before. I've got four now, and I still need to build these up to whatever I need them to, to do. But it's so intuitive. It's so easy to use. Um, I've gotten rid of most of my paper already. Believe me, I am sold on this and looking forward to really diving in more. Oh, I was going to talk about projects. I have a number of projects. And so... One of them was a project of building a funnel, you know, social media funnels for marketing and advertising, things like that. Well, right now I can't focus on that, but I did want to make it a priority and make it into something. So I just created a contact. I called it project funnel project. I attached it to a group of projects management. So I'm looking at my projects. It'll be one of my five projects I have. And I've got a bunch of files in there. Not sure when I'll get back to that, but it is a project I want to work on. Um, so if I go here to my groups, where are my groups at? Contacts, groups. If I go to manage groups, projects management, view my records, I have four. So I have something with these guys. I got this one. I got this one with another uh, producer, and I got this one uh, with another uh, situation. So. I can go back to them and manage it, make my notes if I have an event that happens, just like anything else. But instead of a contact, I just want to call it the project of whatever it is. Um, is there anything else on this? Um, but again, I'm going to go, oh, by the way, the, um, the help section, I mean, you have a guide. The beginner's guide is very easy. I went through it in about roughly 30 minutes. And you kind of know what you're going to pay attention to, what you don't need to pay attention to. That's perfect. Um, every video was less than five minutes. Most of them were about three minutes. Uh, very simple to use. And I feel finally that I have a place that I can work with. Um, as far as using it on your phone, it's completely uh, adaptable to a smartphone, whether it's Apple or Android. I use Android. 
and I just put a shortcut to it for my um, for Google Chrome so it goes straight there and you know it's right there at the top of the screen so it's always with me no matter what um, I guess the downside is that I really I might miss having my paper planner only because I like the leather <laughs> that's kind of silly to say that but you know it is what it is the help part is there and this is where I was looking for um, storage limits file storage limits and I want to want to prove this here um, by the way contact storage we don't place any strict limits on number of contacts and companies so that's right there file storage limits let me pull that up real quick because I want to prove it to you each user has 10 gigabytes of file upload storage space that is amazing and by the way I remember using a CRM that I think was limited to 2 gigabytes I mean think about it this little uh, USB thumb drive I got this over 10 years ago 10 years ago this was probably $20 today probably more like 5 total it doesn't cost a lot to have some storage but you know to be able to have 10 gigabytes available and for the type of files that we've got that's fantastic um, but again contact storage limits I want to show you that we recommend having less than 50,000 contacts I don't think that'll be an issue um, if you have more than 50,000 may experience performance issues like longer loads there is no limit on the amount of history or notes that can be saved there is a limit on file upload storage specifically and you'll learn about that which I already talked about so based on this um, if you're looking for something far more intuitive I'm gonna use it along with my my RIA has its own CRM you have to use it it's their compliance mechanisms um, but I'm gonna use this as my operating base this has been fantastic and if you check it out use my link in the description below um, you get two months free I get a month of uh, credit whenever you decide to sign up so that's fantastic so I wanted to create this video if you like it you know give it a thumbs up subscribe to my YouTube channel and of course make it a great day